Hi all, welcome to Lead Technologies. In today's session, I would like to discuss about IPaaS Dell Boomi. So, before proceeding further, this is my first session in the Dell Boomi area. So, let us understand what is Dell Boomi, what do you mean by IPaaS, and all those things. And then after that, we'll try to see a very simple sample in the Dell Boomi. So, the basic thing is integration platform. What exactly integration platform is all about and when do we use it and what is the need of it? The basic need of integration platform is whenever you want to transform the data from or whenever you want to transfer the data as well as transform the data, you need to use this one. Let us say you have different systems. Let us consider that you have a ERP called Oracle, ERP and SAP ERP. And what you want to do is assume that like this is a source of data and this is a target of data. And what you want to do is you want to transfer the data from Oracle ERP to SAP ERP. So then the basic thing is how do you transfer, right? How do you copy the data which is brought by Oracle into SAP? So this is where the integration platforms comes into picture. So one of the famous integration platform in the market is Dell Boomi. So and this particular platform, it is called integration platform as a service and Dell Boom, like Dell is providing this particular service as a cloud based service. Okay, it's a cloud based service and it is called integration platform as a service. So now what is the functionality of Dell Boom is like it provides a lot number of functionalities. One of the basic functionalities like a transferring data from one system to another system. We can understand that way. Okay, so what we do is we'll just try to do the simple sample. How do you transfer the data from one location to another location? Okay, so one important thing is like what is a prerequisite if developers who never worked in this particular area or who are not aware of this area if they are from a normal SQL or a PL SQL background or if they are from a normal C language background or a Java background like uh, see the basic thing is this does not require any programmatical experience at all. Okay, there is no prerequisite for you. You just need to understand how this tool works It's a tool based. It's a tool based platform. Okay, you just require very 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 minimal programming knowledge, right? So and what is the software we have to use it? So this is a basic question most of the developers will come across like uh, let us say I want to learn this one But how do we start it right? That's a basic question you most of the people come across So the basic question is like uh, the basic software thing what you require is just go to this website autumn.buildboomy.com and here this provides 30 day trial version this provides 30 day trial version where we can practice it once it get expired what you can do is again register one more register again with a different email account and you'll get 30 days trial version okay but in the normal production environment your client will provide all the what you say they will be subscribing to this one and you'll have the real account where you know like uh, you can work on it but as a developer if at all if you want to practice the best thing is just go to this website subscribe for a 30 day, 30 day trial account okay once you log into this your system the basic thing what you require is you just need to download one runtime environment for this one so what you do is just click on manage auto management and here what you do is so just click on new okay environment sorry new new autumn and here just select the appropriate operating system and download the installer okay in my system it is 32 bit i'll just click on download installer it will install this particular it will download this particular software and then you have to install it once you install it the next thing what will happen is this particular application will start as a service right can you see it autumn so this particular service should be running in your system and the next thing if you observe let just observe here like uh, this is a particular service which is running in my system now okay and now what i want to do is in today's session this is my first session on this one so what i would like to do is i'd like to introduce a simple sample of copying the file from one location to another location okay so the basic thing what we do is so here the major component the main component how do we start here how do we start this programming is called how do we start like a dell Boomi? So particular service like what we do is we need to start with creating a process like let us say whenever you want to write any java program or a c language program what do we start with like we just start with our main function right so here also in this particular dell boom if you want to start creating any program so what we have to do is we have to create a process so in our in our uh, like in this particular session what we would like to do is we want to design a particular process which will copy the file from location a to location b Okay, so in my system right now, what is my location A is this is my location where I have the data inbound data and I want to copy the file into this particular location outbound. So I want to copy all the data from one location to another location. So as of now, I could not provide you different system because it requires a different set of environment, right? So right now, just understand how do we design a very simple sample of copying the files from one location to another location. Okay, let us see what are the things we require. 
So first thing is like uh, once you configured the installation once you go to trial version the next thing is just click on simply click on create process and now it is asking the first starting component right it's like main process main main method for your program right so now what we want to do is we want to read the file right so just mention read read the file so here it is asking what is a connector so it's a disk connector nothing but you are trying to read the data from a particular particular hard disk right you have to mention disk connector and what is the action you want to perform get right just let it be like that don't change anything it will be i mean you will not even have any other option actually just let it be with a get now it is asking what is a connection so connection is nothing but like here you want to read the file but your particular process has to know what is the source of it right your particular process has to know from where which machine you want to read it right so what you have to do click on new connection and just mention new disconnection okay and then Mention the directory nothing but the inbound directory, right? So this is my inbound directory from where I want to read the data Just mention that save and close The next thing is operation. So this is a connection information the next thing is the operation what operation you want to perform, right? Click on this create and Just a guest get connection and if you want to con filter the files according to uh, based on some particular Criteria you can do that or else you can just go with the default and click on save and close right now in this one what we have done read the file is my display name connector type is disconnection action type is get and we have created a connection nothing but the source of my source from which particular uh, drive i won't need to read it and the operation is disconnection operation okay just click on okay now we got this information and what is next we are reading it right so we want to whatever the files which you read it you want to copy to another folder right what is the outbound one so what you do is now just click on connect here and here select the disconnect okay and in this one what we do right disk connection or right disk that's it and here the connector type is disk and here the action should be send right you need to send it and you need to select the connection here click on plus symbol here now create a new disconnection and mention that outbound directory now outbound directory Save and close. Right, and choose the operation now. And here you have a different set of op op options you can mention. Send option. And as of now, it doesn't need to change any of these things. Okay, just click on save and close. Right, click on OK. Yes, that's it. So now these two things has to be connected. Just do that. And also you require a stop process here just search for stop and just drag and drop this one mention it as stop click on ok and simply connect that's it so now here it's like a, a process flow diagram kind of thing okay so integration generally most of the integration platforms provide this particular functionality your particular functionality will be shown as a process kind of thing a simply flow diagram to say easier to say right just click on save now assume that we have designed our program so you have to have a option you should have an option to run it right like we need to test it so the basic thing here is when you want to when you just click on test so what happens is this particular program has to be tested in your environment right but the thing which you are doing is like the program which you have done is in the cloud level it's not in your system whatever the program which we have is in the dell website dell SaaS level i mean to say like a, this program is available in the dell cloud but how does dell cloud connect to your system yes that will be connected through your atom installation what we have done the software the service which is running in your system right this atom service now when you click on test it will ask you in which runtime environment you want to execute right so it is asking the atom so atom is nothing but kind of a jvm you can consider it as a runtime environment now in this system in this particular application i have set my atom see that pc is my atom name click on run test Right now it clearly shows what is the process happening here. Now this is running. Once this particular function gets run, it will forward to next, and it will finally it should get to stop and yeah. So let's see what's happening now. Yeah, I think can you see here? Yeah, perfect. Right. So it went from here read, then write, and then stop. So but how do you validate? Go to your outbound directory. Yep, perfect. Right. So these are the files, but here if you observe the file names are different, right? So it's simply generated with a unique ID. So these things you can do it nothing, but you can modify it, right? Let us say if you want to have a appropriate naming convention, you can mention that. Okay, 
Now what you can do is just go back here. Let us say if you would like to mention the file name, what you can do is there's a property called properties, set properties. Can you see set properties? Just use the set properties. Using this one, what we can do is we can set the file name rather than rather than just using the file name which is provided by Delboom. We can try to generate the file name according to your own convention. Click on plus symbol here. Now just mention the document property, right? And yeah, select this. And what property you want to say? Change it. File name you want to change it. Click on OK. Now here, click on plus symbol. Mention that whether you want to go with the dynamic or a static. Let us. I would like to go with the dynamic one, right? So dynamic one, it is asking like what is the way you want to have it, right? So let us say I want to generate with based on the timestamp, right? And just select the appropriate timestamp. I'll just go with my format. Yep, this is my interesting format. Just click on OK. OK. Now what you have to do? Very simple. Just remove this connection and set here. And what you do? Just set this connection here. Okay. Save it. Now what you do is just test it again. And you can and is asking which runtime environment you want to run it. Just click on run test here. That's it. And go to the outbound directory and just try refreshing here. Yep. Got it. It generated the content according to the today's date and here if you observe the first one is 2018 is the it's showing 2018 1 then 2 then 3 4 5 like this it will generate the automatic sequence because you already have a file name with a particular date so what it will do is it will not replace it it simply region it generates a file name followed by a particular unique number 1 2 3 4 kind of thing okay so this is one of simple sample of disk to disk so in the next session, I'll try to come up with some more samples. So thank you.